vectors are quantities defined by both magnitude and direction so we can write vector the vector is defined by both magnitude and direction whereas a scalar is defined by magnitude only right so there you have it you get your two marks just by doing that right the electric field strength e at a distance e from an isolated object blah 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 use the definition of field strength to show that e has si base units of that well electric field strength can be defined as the force per unit charge in an electric field the force per unit charge at that point in an electric field right so since it's force per unit charge it means that e has got units of newtons per coulomb and newtons force is mass times acceleration so we can write that in si base units as kg's meters per second squared that is force then coulombs charge its current times time which is ampere second like that right so rewriting this will give us kg's meters per amp and s to the minus three just as they want there that's what we get right we are on to item two now we are going to use the units of e to determine the si base units of b so we are going to make use of this equation here and these units that we have obtained how are we going to do that well this is how we are going to do it this is how we are going to do it we have been uh, told that e is equal to q divided by x squared b so the units of e are kg's meters per amp and s to the minus 3 those units are should be the same as the units on the right hand side we assume that this equation is dimensionally consistent so the units on the right hand side are a s for q because q is charge over x squared x is distance meters so x squared is meters squared and then the units of b will go right there right so to get the units of b all we need to do is some algebraic manipulation right so the units of b are going to be given by this expression Uh, that's a minus 3 right there that's a minus 3 right there that's a minus 3 right then we multiply by but those are the units of B and they simplify to they simplify to give us a squared a squared m to the minus 3 s to the power 3 or rather s to the power 2 s to the power 2 right there because these two 
will this will divide into into that one so we'll get s to the power 2 and per kg those are the units for b that's what we get right there 